If you clicked this video, it means that you're brand new to D&D and you want to play a druid. As you know, if you've seen Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, or you're just really into Stonehenge, Druids are magical beings who gain their powers from nature and sometimes turn into very cool animals. We are building this druid on D&D Beyond, the official digital toolset that makes D&D easier to play. Register for free and click Create a Character. Select Standard so you can build your character step by step. It's helpful in understanding what the stuff on your character sheet means. And don't forget to click Show Help Text for helpful advice along the way. But if you're really pressed for time, you can choose Quick Build, select your character options, and bam, you've got a character. But if you're still with us on the standard path, you'll begin your brief journey on this character preferences screen. Unless your dungeon master has some stuff they want you to click or unclick, just ignore all of this and hit next. And it's time to start making choices. Now, as always, pick what you think sounds cool. But for this build, we're suggesting that you play an elf, specifically a wood elf. Druids, nature. Wood elf, woods. It makes sense. Also, wood elves get some fun bonuses that mix well with a druid, like dark vision and keen senses. Next, you're going to choose a class, the druid. And if you don't, I blame myself because something in the last 30 seconds of this video made you change your mind, and I'm very sorry. As a druid, you get to make some choices about what you're proficient at here. We're going with animal handling and, well, nature. Hit next and let's choose your ability scores. Quick rundown of what these mean. Strength, can you lift a fallen tree? Constitution, can you survive a tree falling on you? Dexterity, can you leap out of the way of a falling tree? Intelligence, how much have you learned about falling trees? Wisdom, have you had previous encounters with other falling trees that would come in handy with this falling tree? And charisma, can you make a tree fall for you? Ask your DM if they want you to pick these via standard array, point by, or manual. They're all fine choices and really just a matter of taste and what your dungeon master wants to do. We're going to use standard array here, but the approach is the same no matter how you do it. Wisdom is the most important ability for druids, so it should be your highest, followed by constitution. And you'll notice that because you're a wood elf, you get a little bonus to wisdom. Pick the rest as you see fit and let's keep going. You're doing a great job. On to picking a background. We're choosing hermit. You get proficiencies in medicine and religion, and you get to choose a tool you're good with. We're picking wood carving tools here, but we always encourage bagpipes for bold players. You also get to choose an additional language. Your dungeon master might have suggestions on what could come in handy in your game, or you can just pick something that makes sense for someone who lives in the woods, like Sylvan, the language of fae and fairies. Then you can flesh out some personality characteristics and details, like appearance and alignment. This is what kind of person your character is. It's really fun to dig into, but it's also not a requirement if this is your first time playing, so don't stress out about it too much, and we are not going to here either. Okay, time for the fun part of playing a druid. Let's pick your spells. Click back a few screens to pick your spells and click known spells to choose the ones that you'd like your druid to have prepared for their adventure. At first level, you get two cantrips, which are basic spells you can cast as many times as you'd like. For now, we're picking the Produce Flame cantrip for offense and the Guidance cantrip for teamwork. You also get first level spells that you can cast with your spell slots. You get to choose a number of spells equal to your Wisdom modifier, which, remember, is right there, plus your Druid level. This means we get to choose four first-level spells. First, we're choosing Entangle, because trapping people in vines is very cool, as well as Fog Cloud, Healing Word, and Speak with Animals. <laughs> Hit next, and let's choose your stuff. You've got a choice between starting with equipment or enough gold to buy some in your game. We suggest just starting with equipment. There are no wrong choices here. Choose whatever seems fun to you. We're going with Wooden Shield, a dagger for when spells aren't working out, and for our Druidic Focus, the item you focus your magical ability through, we're choosing a Wooden Staff. It just feels classic. Click Add Starting Equipment. Click Wield on your dagger and click Wear on your leather armor. And take a look at your other stuff so you know what's there. 
Like, hey, look at this. It's an herbalism kit. That's fun. My friend, you are done. Hit next and select view character sheet. Name them whatever you want and click around to explore the sheet. If you don't know what something means, that is okay. Your DM will tell you when you need this stuff. Or you can just ask. And here's the cool thing. You can click everything on your sheet and it'll do the math and roll the dice for you. You need to hit something with a magic spell, bam. You need to know how much damage it did, boom. You can even decorate. Find a character backdrop and a portrait frame that feels appropriately woodsy. Or you know what? Pick whatever you want. After all, this is your character, this is your druid, and they have got a heck of a story ahead of them. And that's your first druid, my friend. Have fun entangling your foes, say hello to a horse for us, and we hope you have a blast playing D&D. &D.